Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick with your Political News Roundup for Wednesday, June 1st. Bailing out the U.S. auto industry will cost taxpayers about $14 billion. The President's National Economic Council reported that figure today. General Motors and Chrysler together got $80 billion in government loans to stay in business back in 2009. The $14 billion loss is well less than the $40 to $50 billion loss originally estimated by the government. Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner said the bailout was worth it, with auto companies now leading a comeback in the manufacturing sector. It should be noted that repayment of bailout money and interest by the banking industry brought the government and taxpayers billions of dollars of profits. Well, at least they're talking. Republicans in the House of Representatives were at the White House today talking to President Obama about ways to cut the budget. Both sides say no real progress was made and no specific proposals were put on the table, but both sides called it a useful discussion. Republicans called on Obama to show more leadership in the budget debate and to stop mischaracterizing Republicans' plans for Medicare changes. White House spokesman Jay Carney later said the president opposes the GOP Medicare plan and will continue to criticize it. Democrats think they can recapture majority control of the House of Representatives in 2012, but it will be a very close call. That's according to a key campaign strategist. Congressman Steve Israel heads the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. He told reporters that the Democrats' recent win in a special election in heavily Republican western New York is evidence that voters are having what he called buyer's remorse about Republicans and their plans to privatize Medicare. Israel said it would be an uphill battle with the results being razor close. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie continues to say no, he won't be a Republican candidate for president in 2012. Christie repeated the comment during a dinner with campaign contributors from Iowa last night. Analysts say it's noteworthy, however, that Christie does plan a trip to Iowa this summer. He'll speak at an education summit in the state that holds early presidential caucuses. In the meantime, former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney, who has made no secret of his plans to run for president, is set to make a formal announcement to that effect on Thursday. That's your political roundup for Wednesday, June 1st. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day. Thank you.